Hi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening wherever you are. Uh, welcome back to my channel and uh, as uh, promised in my uh, previous vlog video i will be continuing on with the uh, series of uh, my opinions based upon my experience my observations and my point of view and this uh, is based on literacy versus education my apologies for uh, delay in this particular uh, video because I was waiting for certain equipment to come in and now that it is in uh, I can go ahead with the uh, series on a regular basis. I had uh, promised that uh, the next video that is this one would be uh, based on uh, you know the colleges specifically the engineering and the medical colleges. However uh, this past few days uh, I have come across a certain observation which I would like to discuss. Now please understand that uh, these are my observations, these are my thoughts, my opinions and again people would have different opinions, they would have differing opinions, people would uh, you know go ahead and agree with what I have said, people would disagree with what I have said. As long as it generates a good healthy discussion I am okay with all agreements and disagreements and uh, if you uh, like uh, this uh, entire series uh, you can please like share and subscribe uh, to my channel like and share the videos so without further ado uh, let's move on to uh, today's topic literacy versus education but today instead of colleges uh, that's engineering and medical colleges i would like to focus on parents now this current pandemic situation that is going on in the world over uh, with COVID-19 and health issues uh, with uh, you know businesses shutting down, with uh, businesses gearing down, a lot of people losing their jobs, a lot of people working from home, taking pay cuts, a lot of small businesses going bankrupt. The educational institution has also suffered a very very big setback. However, like I said that I would be focusing on parents because this is something that I have seen in this past couple of months. Now, with the earning potential being lowered across families, a lot of people uh, are facing you know, problems with uh, you know, paying school fees, uh, ensuring that uh, they meet the obligations. And at the same point of time, uh, the parents have voiced uh, their opinion saying that uh, since students are not able to go to school to attend classes, uh, what would be the solution for that? The schools have come up with uh, a solution wherein uh, majority of the schools across the country, in fact across the globe, wherever uh, this pandemic has spread. Uh, they have started taking online classes now that's a very very uh, you know forward moving progressive thought uh, for a lot of schools and uh, they have gone ahead with it people have implemented it uh, schools with bigger budgets have been able to implement it with very big success uh, moderate to low budget schools have been struggling with it but yes uh, they are uh, you know going ahead with it classes are still on teachers they are still giving their time from home uh, there are several people uh, teachers who were not computer savvy but they geared up for it uh, they made their online presence felt they are taking classes either through online portals or uh, you know webex uh, meetings or through whatsapp groups so classes are on, the teaching is on, the biggest restrictions on this particular type of uh, a teaching mode, which I understand is definitely not a permanent one, uh, this teaching mode, 
the biggest restrictions are coming from parents whereas the parents are saying that since the students are not going to school to attend their classes they should not be paying the full amount of school fees i agree with part of this uh, you know thought process i understand this because when a student actually or a parent actually pays school fees those school fees cover a lot of different things and since the teaching is being done from home online a lot of those fees are not applicable so the parents had gone to the government the government uh, state and central governments have uh, requested that the schools uh, reduce their fees or not charge the fees which are not related uh, during this particular pandemic so a lot of the schools have complied with it as well several schools have gone ahead and reduced their tuition fees as well now in spite of all of the compromise uh, being made and done by both the parent side as well as the uh, school side there are still a lot of parents who say two things one online education or online teaching is worthless and should be stopped children should either go to school and then learn things or they should stay at home and do nothing that's point 1 and point 2 that since the children are not going to school they should not pay school fees at all now i do not agree with both of these statements okay i understand that parents are working at a reduced income whether they are businessmen whether they are uh, you know salaried employees they are working at reduced uh, pay scale so their request for schools to reduce some of the fees i understand it's valid it's justified the schools on the other hand they have agreed to this particular compromise and they have come down on their fees so what is the big furor all about I will speak specifically about West Bengal because that's the case, that's the area, that's the state where most of uh, the cases that I'm about to describe have come up. Is where the parents are actually creating a big mob in front of the school gates, uh, disregarding all the COVID-19 precautions, disregarding all uh, social, uh, you know, distancing norms, disregarding safety for. their own selves as well as others uh, creating a mob outside school gates demanding that schools do not charge any fees now schools are not accepting this particular uh, i would not say request uh, this particular term and schools are right not to do that as well schools have already reduced fees schools have all uh, they have already stopped charging fees for uh, amenities that they are not able to provide okay so the schools basically right now are only charging tuition fees tuition fees basically uh, guarantee the salary of the teachers okay even the teachers have agreed to cut down on their pay scale and work uh, at reduced rates but if the parents refuse to go ahead and pay any kind of fees why will the teachers go ahead and continue on with their online classes from their home they also have worries they also have uh, you know their household to take care of they are also worried about meeting their obligations family uh, family obligations so uh, the teachers are not actually up in arms about anything it's the parents who are up in arms about anything they are demanding no school no fees if a child is not going to school they will not be paying the fees however school board and uh, several school uh, schools they have asked the parents to come to them one on one describe the situation so that the schools can make certain compromises so that the schools can go ahead and make certain 
amenities available to those particular parents who are really uh, under uh, dire financial straits. But people who are still able to pay reduced school fees are denying to pay school fees. According to them, just because a person who's gone bankrupt, who is unable to pay school fees, if that particular person can get a leverage, a little bit of a leeway from the school so that their child can go ahead and continue their education, then the people who can still afford are also supposed to not pay the school fees, as if the leeway is same for everybody. You can still pay the school fees. The other person cannot pay the school fees. So that it is the other person who will get the leeway, not you. Equality means the same leeway applies to everybody, disrespective of the uh, manner whether they should be applied to them or not. No, in this case, equality is not required. Judgment is required. And the current generation of students whose parents are actually going ahead and putting their foot down, saying that no, I will not pay school fees just because somebody uh, is unable to pay school fees, I will also not pay school fees. What are their children learning? Are the parents actually going ahead and giving their children the proper education? Are they inculcating the habit of education? Are they teaching what is right, what is wrong to their children? They are not. And that is what saddens me. Now, a lot of you people will agree with what I have just said. A lot of you people will disagree with what I have said. And I sound like a broken record uh, every time I say this thing. But... Again, a healthy discussion on this is welcome. I would like you to discuss on this. I would like you to agree on this. I would like you to disagree on this. But as long as it's healthy, as long as it is discussed, and as long as this particular video is shared with all parents, all teachers, and everybody sits, discusses, and comes to a certain common platform for each and everybody, where the education for the children goes forward, is not hindered, does not stop just because the pandemic is causing a, this big a havoc, I would consider that to be a success. That is my uh, thoughts on this particular thing and uh, as promised, uh, I will be coming back uh, in the next video with a session on the engineering and medical colleges and the inequities there and the things that need to be changed there as well. So, uh, like I mentioned, uh, please like and share the video if you think uh, it, it needs to be done. And for more videos on my channel, please subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you uh, get notified of any new videos that I come up with. Thank you. Have a great day wherever you are.